New developments now. A Ferguson Police Department worker is fired and two others are on leave after a scathing report from the Department of Justice that found patterns of racism in that police department. But the investigation did not end with new charges against Officer Darren Wilson. He's the man who shot an unarmed black teenager and sparked a nationwide controversy. Ross Plater sorting through the report for us tonight. Ross. Leon, we should tell you we've been watching some live pictures coming into our newsroom from Ferguson, Missouri, where a number of people have gathered at that police department tonight. Seem to be just standing around. We don't have audio, so we don't know what's being said. But we did see three people cuffed and taken into custody in the last few minutes. All this now, uh, a reaction to that a DOJ report, 102 pages long, outlining years of what the, the agency and uh, the uh, attorney general call illegal and misguided practices by Ferguson police. Emotions boiled over and thousands from around the country took to the streets of Ferguson, Missouri after the killing of unarmed black teen Michael Brown. It prompted the Department of Justice to investigate. The agency did not find that the white police officer who shot Brown should be prosecuted, but that there was plenty wrong with the city's police department. The evidence of racial bias comes not only from statistics, but also from remarks made by police, city, and court officials. The scathing report accused Ferguson police officers of cultivating a pervasive culture of racism targeting the town's African-American community, including a series of offensive racist emails. Let me be clear. This type of behavior will not be tolerated in the Ferguson Police Department or in any department of the city of Ferguson. Former police officer Jonathan Newton now heads up a new D.C.-based organization called the NAAPB, the National Association Against Police Brutality. These are common practices that uh, we've been echoing in the African-American community for years. Um, false arrest, uh, abuse, uh, harassment by the police, things of that nature. Um, I imagine if the DOJ would do further investigation to other agencies, they would find very similar things all across the country. Now, Ferguson Police Department brass were expected to hold a news conference to respond to those allegations tonight. We expect that will happen tomorrow instead. Live in the newsroom, I'm Ross Plater, ABC 7 News.